Sometimes one of the things we need to think about when we judge other people and condemn them, we got to realize if we were in their shoes, we might have just acted the same. It's one of the things that I think about, you know, God has graciously, graciously granted me an understanding of his word that I, I get amazed at the revelation of God's word that's, that's given to my spirit. But then I recognize if he hadn't done it, there's no way I would have known this. And so when I see other people say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, I can't judge them. Because I'm thinking, the only reason I know it's wrong is because God helped me. It's because he taught me. It's because the Holy Spirit helped me. If he hadn't helped me, I would be in the same mess. I would be in the same boat. But I know God helped me become who I am. God helped me. He opened my eyes to understand. Understand the scriptures. And that's a miracle on its own. If God didn't help you, you wouldn't be where you are. If he didn't help you, if he didn't give you the grace, you wouldn't be where you are. And so if you think like that, then you realize you're not necessarily better than another. You're not better than anyone else. You're just so glad God reached you and the Holy Spirit manifested himself to you and in your life. You become thankful. So that has helped me. If, if I see others do the wrong thing or uh, unable to understand something that I know, I become even more humble and thankful to God. And I say, Lord, I wouldn't have known if you hadn't taught me. I would have been exactly like that guy. I would have been like that. I probably would have been in the village somewhere, walking around in the street somewhere. I don't know. But God was gracious to me. Found myself in church, not because I chose to, but God was gracious to me. When I see those who don't know the way to church, who don't even feel like going to church, I'm thankful to God that he helped me. Otherwise, I'd probably be somewhere else. I don't know what I would have been doing. And I'm grateful to the Lord that he helped me. And I want you to be thankful today. Thankful that God helped you. That's why you can hear him. That's why you're even listening to me now. Do you realize there are those who listen to a message like this and say, Oh, I don't want it. Change the channel. No, I don't want this. And we don't get mad at them. No. Some will even say that we're a fraud. We're deceiving people. They said that about Jesus. Was Jesus mad at them? No. He knew they didn't understand. He knew they were ignorant. They didn't know the truth. They didn't know what to do. I might have been that way. I thank God that I'm in the house of God. I thank God I, I'm talking to you like this. Not because I was better than you but because God was merciful and kind to me and opened my mind to the scriptures, opened my mind to the Holy Spirit so that I can understand these things. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. That's what you've got to do today. Thank Him for giving you the opportunity to know something of God, to have the fear of God, to even listen to words like this. Thank God for helping you believe. And pray for other people. When you see others who are not as kind as you, who are not as God-loving as you, don't be angry at them. Pray for them. Maybe through your prayer, God will answer and become as clear to them as he's been clear to you. And the vision will come to them as it's come to you. The understanding will come to them as it's come to you. Maybe if you pray, instead of condemn, maybe if you pray for that person that you've had a problem with, there might be a change. Maybe. Just put yourself in their shoes. You don't know how they've been living. You don't know where they come from. 
You don't know what happened in their childhood. All of those things may be playing out now in their lives and they're acting the way they act, the very way you don't like. But you can be thankful and pray for them. And then God will touch their lives. I want to pray for you. And I'm asking that the hand of God will rest upon you. That these words will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. That you be guided in the way that you should go. I pray that the will of God will be made manifest in your life. That you'll understand the purpose for your life and fulfill it. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that you live a healthy and prosperous life. So that you can do beautiful things as God will have you do. To be a lifter of other people. A strength to others in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.